Got it right, so what's up, y'all? So let's get right into it, man. Turkey LSG comes out here and he puts Canelo on blast. He pretty much says what the world basically knows already, what the boxing world knows. Um, let's get right into it. Turkey LSG. I heard what Canelo said that he respects me but doesn't like the way we do business. As for him respecting me, it doesn't matter to me if he does or not. As for the way I do business, I know why he doesn't like it. Because I only target big fights at fair prices. So of course anyone who likes easy fights won't like that. And I know how he feels after losing to Bebo, so he's been looking for easier fights ever since. Also, I'm not the one who's afraid of fighting Benavides or Crawford. Therefore, I knew he was wasting our time and making excuses with big amounts of money that can't be paid. So I'm continuing my way to make big fights that serve the boxing world and he's on his way to making easy show only fights. All right, so my first my first thoughts on that statement is that no lies were told, bro. This is factual, you know. Um, Turkey Alishi came out here and he's keeping it real. You know, I kind of seen this coming, man. Remember when I told you guys that I didn't think that that Terrence Crawford and Canelo fight was going to get made because these guys, both of these guys have crazy pride, you know what I'm saying? And um, not, not, not just pride, they have crazy egos. And... Um, and with them taking shots at each at each other, bro, I just didn't see this thing happening. Um, I kind of knew this was coming, bro. I kind of knew that Turkey and Canelo were going to fall off with each other. And it was just a matter of time before Turkey came out here and did some shit like this. Um, I'm going to tell you guys something, bro. Turkey is going to make it very hard for Canelo to keep doing what he's doing, man. Because as you guys already see that Turkey, his plans are to challenge Canelo on his fight dates. Um, by putting these crazy cards together, bro, giving Canelo a run for his money, giving him some competition. And I think that he's going to be able to do this, bro, for many reasons, man, because he puts on these great fights that the real boxing fans want to see. And it's great events, bro. And at the same time, while he's doing this, he's stacking up these cards. Canelo is out here giving us fights like Eddie Gripper Langa, you know what I'm saying? That Really, nobody wants to see this fight. Um, you know, for September, a Turkey Alishik already has got that UFC card lined up to try to give him some competition. And I came out and I told you guys, and you guys were saying I was crazy again. Everything I say is crazy to you guys until the shit comes true. Um, I told y'all that Turkey Alishik is trying to make Benavides versus Bavo or better Biev for next Cinco de Mayo. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to take Canelo's Cinco de Mayo date and he's trying to, you know, uh, give that to Benavides and the winner of Better Be Event Bavo. And just think about this shit, bro. Can he do it? Hell yeah, he can do it because leave it down in the comment sections, man. I, I want to I wanna get your guys' opinion on this. Who is Canelo going to fight next Cinco de Mayo? Who is he going to fight? Who's left out there to fight? Um... A Caleb Plant rematch? I don't even think that people would be more interested in seeing that than Benavides versus uh, Bivol or Better Biv. Um, I mean, who else, bro? Who Who's out there? I really don't see nobody, you know what I'm saying? So with Canelo running out of options and now a guy like Turkey that doesn't want to work with him, it's pretty obvious that Turkey's like, nah, I'm not trying to work with you because why? Again, bro, remember when I, I, I came out here and I told you guys that that 150 mil to 200 mil that Canelo was asking for to fight uh, Benavides, I told you guys that that was a stupid amount of money. He only did that shit to outprice himself. And all of you guys were in my comments talking about, no, Turkey's gonna pay it, Turkey's gonna pay it. I told you guys, hell no, not even Turkey's gonna pay that shit. Even though he's got all this bread, he's got all this money, he's not stupid, bro. He's, he's, not, he's not about to just throw away 200 million to Canelo, bro. Um, that's not how this shit works, you know what I'm saying? Um, and th that's why Turkey came out here and he, he made this statement because he heard all these ridiculous prices from Canelo and Turkey. He's pretty much trying to tell the boxing fans like, hey, this guy is asking for crazy amounts of money that can't be paid, bro. You guys got to start being realistic and start kind of holding Canelo accountable. What I think that he did was that he put Canelo on blast to, for... For all the boxing fans that were thinking that, yeah, Canelo might make this money, you saw a lot of dumbass boxing channels out here saying that, yeah, they're going to pay Canelo that money. 
Nah, bro. Nobody. I was telling y'all since the get go, nobody's gonna pay Canelo that money, man. Um, and everybody was out here thinking that Turkey was gonna do it. Well, he just came out here and pretty much uh, just showed you guys that hey, not even he, not even he is gonna pay that money, man, because it's just ridiculous. That was just another excuse from Canelo to outprice himself to avoid fighting David Benavides, you know. Um, but yeah, it's pretty crazy, you know. Um, I'm kind of happy that Turkey is doing this shit because at the end of the day. I've always told you guys, bro, that I have a huge problem with Canelo, what Canelo is turning this sport into. He's he's making exhibition matches while he is the champion. He's holding all the belts and he's doing whatever he wants. And this is not a sport anymore, you know. At the end of the day, you guys got to remember that boxing is a sport. And in any sport, you want to figure out who the best is, right? And you want to have fair play for all of the people. You know, this is kind of like, bro... To break this down to you, this is kind of like, let's let's take NFL, for instance. Say the, 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 the Chiefs, right? They made it to the Super Bowl. And then all of a sudden, the Chiefs make it to the Super Bowl, and they're like, they're out here picking what team they want to go up against. When everybody knows that, hey, um, the strongest teams are, are such and such, right? But they don't want to give those guys a shot at the Super Bowl. They're trying to pick the, the less uh, opposition teams. You know, if this were to happen in the NFL, bro, people would go crazy if some shit like this were to happen. But in boxing, you guys allow this shit to happen, bro, and you guys don't say nothing about it, you know? Try to remember that at the end of the day, this is a sport, and we're trying to figure out who the best is, bro. And it's not fair that somebody like Canelo gets to come out here and pretty much do whatever he wants because he's the cash cow, you know? He generating all this money. This is corruption at its finest and, and right in your face. And all of you Canelo groupies, bro, you guys allow this shit to happen when at the end of the day, it's just some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? This fight with Canelo and Edgar Berlanga, since, since the get-go, it's, it's a garbage-ass fight. And I'm glad that all this shit is happening. I'm glad that Turkey came out here and checked Canelo, put him in his place, and pretty much told him, hey, you know what? We're not working with you. So Canelo keeps coming out here saying that he doesn't need Turkey and all that shit. He doesn't need Turkey right now. But in the near future, we'll see uh, if he really doesn't eat turkey, you know. Yeah, but that's pretty much it for me, bro. I don't think I left anything out. Um, let me know what you guys think about all this shit. Go ahead and leave, leave it down in the comment section. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll be on to the next one, man. I'm out.